Whoa! Do you see this sparkling gemstone? <sighs> Everything about it screams pure brilliance. In fact, the appearance and properties of diamonds fooled the world for centuries that they were the purest form of carbon. However, it is impossible for diamonds to be absolutely pure. Do you know why? The crystal structure of a diamond is almost entirely made up of carbon atoms, which not only make it spectacular, but also impure. Are you confused? Well, let me explain what I'm talking about. In a diamond, each carbon atom is bonded to four other carbon atoms. And these bonds are nothing but shared electrons. So, they constantly repel and try to move away from each other. As a result, carbon atoms form this unique arrangement where bonds are uniformly placed at a very specific angle. This angle is the maximum angle one could get by uniformly arranging four lines in a three-dimensional space. And on measuring, it comes out to be 109.5 degrees. The maximum angle between the bonds ensures minimum repulsion and greater stability, which makes this angle extremely crucial for determining the shape of this carbon unit. As this carbon unit repeats itself in all directions, it forms multiple layers of an interlocked three-dimensional network of carbon atoms which appears as a diamond. Now, let's see how this structure leads to impurities in diamonds. Can you see the lone atoms at the outer ends of the structure? Well, since the structure ends there, these carbon atoms are unable to bond with other carbon units. Thus, their valence electrons are left dangling. These dangling electrons can be found within the crystal as well, due to irregular conditions during the growth of the diamond. And they have no other option but to bond with elements available in their surroundings. Hence, atoms of different elements such as nitrogen, hydrogen, boron and more are introduced as impurities. In fact, these impurities impart different hues to diamonds. Like the presence of nitrogen makes them yellow, boron makes them blue and sulphur makes them appear green. No matter what happens, there will always be dangling valence electrons inviting the impurities. Unless the carbon units keep on repeating infinitely. However, if such a thing happens, then we would have a diamond of infinite dimensions and the entire universe would be one infinitely large diamond. <laughs> and that's the only way to obtain a 100% pure diamond. Well, now that we know why diamonds can't be absolutely pure, here is a puzzler for you. What if we restructure the carbon atoms in a way that all the dangling bonds are connected with each other? Can we create the purest diamond ever or something entirely different? Drop all your theories in the comment sections below and if you liked this and want to explore more such interesting topics, subscribe now!